Friday, December 30, 2022. I was not willing to make a video, but here we go again, <laughs> right? Okay. Half liter of fuel, 98 RON from a petrol station. It's 370 grams. All right, obviously without the glass, just the fuel. I zero the, the scale before I add the fuel inside. All right, 370 grams, half liter. Fine. Now you're gonna tell me, oh, that's a serious statement, Tassos. Okay, let me say that again. On the specific China scale, on a rubber table at 25 degrees Celsius with contaminated fuel from a petrol station, because it's not pure fuel, okay, it's, it's what you're getting from a petrol station. On this altitude at 25 degrees, with this scale, I have 370 grams at half liter. Fine. It's okay for me. That's what I get used to it. This, I'm doing one test before I run a test for the pumps. I want to see because what I'm doing, I'm actuating, let us say, in this case, the original pump, the aftermarket pump, with the same cables, same battery, same battery charger, everything same, to don't have a variables, with the same cage. And what I'm doing, I'm getting my timer. And I'm, I see, let us say, in half minute, how many, uh, how many, not liters, liters you convert it after that. Fuel you can pass with a stock one and with upgrade one to see the difference. That's 101. So don't get it for granted that half liter is 370 grams. Obviously, all right. In one accurate scale, in a steady point, let us say not on a rubber table and at the zero altitude. I, I believe that we are at sea level here, but I'm just saying. And again, different 20 degrees, different 25 degrees. All right. For me, that's what it is. That's my standard. That means I don't know, if I put it 10 times this on the scale, I'm going to have 370 grams. And that's what's important for me, to be consistent. Now we're, I'm starting with a test, <laughs> since I make myself clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> different ethanol, different methanol, different, uh, different fluids. If it was, let us say, uh, water, it's going to be 500 grams, approximately. Let, let's test it, since we are here, right? Clean, empty glass. All right, 208. Let's place it here. Zero. Let's fill it up with the water. You know why I'm doing that? I'm doing this because I know that I'm not gonna have a chance today to run the test for the pumps. <laughs> because in a while they're gonna come the guys and I have some job outside. Okay, at least let's make some standards, you know. <laughs> and 500 ml of water from the water dispenser on this scale it's 518 grams i'm gonna blame the water you know not the scale the scale it's legit it's good <laughs> all right so on the same mark as it was the fuel 518 grams yeah, it's fine with me as soon as i'm putting it all the time and i have the same readings I'm happy, that's what I need. Uh, at the end, I want just only to convert the kilograms to liters on the fuel. All right, again, if you have a distilled water, more accurate scale, and it was in a flat surface at the sea level, you're gonna have 500 ml with 500 grams on the water I'm talking about. I don't know if it's been contaminated or something. <laughs> Maybe it has a methanol. No, if it has a methanol, it's gonna be lighter. <laughs> Move on. And that's my classic setup. All right, battery charger, 95% charge the battery. It's taking zero amperes. No, it's taking 0.8 ampere, sorry. 0.8 ampere, 14.8 volts, all right. Mercedes battery, nice and fresh. Same cables for 20 amperes rated. The brassless pump with a controller. Inside of the bucket, petrol here, here no petrol. Turning on the scale. Fine, for now I don't need the scale because I'm gonna check the pressure first. First I'm gonna make a test to see how much pressure is building up the, the stock pump. It's not Mercedes by the way, it's for a friend of mine. What I have done here, I have blocked this pipe because this is the line, it's a fuel line that goes to the other side of the fuel tank to pick up the fuel from there and bring it from the side where is the pump. 
so I don't want to have this variable. All right, just the pump, and the same thing also with the, uh, the aftermarket. Now, timer, but first the pressure, and then to see what's going on. Let's split the system. The terminal here, not that safe, right? Yay! One second, I need both hands. Yeah, I need to put a different pressure gauge because it goes out of scale. It's finishing the needle. It comes on this side when you're blocking it. All right. Let me make the test one second because I need both hands once again. I cannot do it with one hand. I can always support the phone somewhere, right? What the fuck is wrong with you, Tassos? All right. Now, I'm gonna have a shower of petrol. Who knows? It might come out. You can see about that. Not accurate test. Classic 2.35. 2.35. Why this happened? Because it emptied the bucket here and emptied the bucket because it's not secured down the pump. That's why I had a sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do it again. This one, let me write down the number. 2.35 at 30 seconds to see the difference you know what let's eliminate that yeah. okay Let's eliminate that, let's remove completely the basket. Oops, not the finger, I the wrong finger. Alright, keep it there. Forget the bucket. Basket, bucket, for the life. Alright, alright. Let's see that again. Now, you're gonna be smart if I had a switch. Why I didn't make one switch? You must know why. Here we go again. Let's make a shower again. I have to connect the cable and I have to click the button for the timer at the same time. while I make sour of a pepper. Oh, come on, stay there. Not bad, not bad. 2.37. At 30 seconds. Okay. So the first time that it went sideways the basket, or the empty actually, it was 2.35 kilograms at 30 seconds. Now it was 2.37. Just putting it in, alright? That's the stop pump. <coughs> stop pump. Am I, am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. Let me pause it one second to change the pumps. To put the aftermarket one. You know what I'm thinking when I'm doing these kind of tests inside the engine room? That's one very nice compassion jumper, the engine room. And if it reads the stichiometric, one spark, it's good enough to explode everything. <laughs> How lovely. Now, why I didn't extend these cables? I have to make the connection here. <laughs> Here's the petrol. 
<laughs> Don't play with fire, right? Don't play with fire. It's a stupid. Don't play with fucking fire. Should I? Yeah, even the part, the battery there is full of petrol. At least, if I catch up fire, it's gonna explode. You'll gonna see it on the video, right? Here we go again. Don't leak outside. I'm trying to run a fucking test. Two seven two. Two seven two. Thirty seconds. I have to repeat again. Yeah, yeah. It's not melting. It's classic. The plastic. Two seven two, yeah. And I spill out how much better. Zero, nice. One second evaporating with the pedal. Thirty point one six, two point seven two, two point seven two at thirty seconds. So we have the first time two point seventy two kilograms at thirty seconds. Second time two point seventy two kilograms at thirty seconds with a stop one two point thirty five and two point thirty seven. I'll gonna call it two point thirty six. 2.36 for the stock one and 2.72 for the aftermarket one. Let's make some calculations. See, where are we? Before the calculations, let me get rid of all this shit. You don't catch up fire, right? Makes sense. Second for you. A few things that I forget to mention. The brassless pump, this one, it's a used pump has 100,000 kilometers, it's not a new one, obviously, fine. And the controller that I'm running, it's not the original controller. The original controller, I believe, can perform much better than this controller. Fine, that's one thing. The aftermarket pump, 
it's almost new pump. It didn't, doesn't even have a 5,000 kilometers, if I remember right. All right. Now, the original pump, it sits at this point there. And it's sucking fuel. There is one valve here, like a Venturi. One second. There is one valve here, and it's sucking through this membrane from down. And that's why you see the basket, bucket, basket called as you like, that there is this opening here to don't to don't sit completely down on the fuel tank to have a space to pass the fuel and have a suction the pump. Now. The upgrade pump, when you put inside the basket, you're not going to suck through the membrane down there. You're going to rely only on how much fuel has inside the bucket. All right. If it's more than half tank, you're going to fill it up naturally, so that means it's going to be full. And it's relying also from the Venturi valve that has, has a similar valve from the other side of the fuel tank that's supplying fuel pressure with that, with this pipe. And it's ending up here and it's dumping the fuel through this opening inside of the bucket. All right, so <clears throat> this pump is working fine as soon as you have this basket or bucket full of petrol. If you have 10% of the fuel tank and the fuel level is here, when it's working, the upgrade pump with a combination of the stock pump, that means when it's running, there are the stock pump and next to it, you have also the upgrade pump and you have high fuel demand, what can happen, you're going to empty the bucket and you're not going to be able to fill it up. That's one problem with the upgrade pump. Uh, the, also with this pump, the problem is that it doesn't have a check valve. Whoever put it there, I don't know how, why they use it, because what's happening, this is working on boost, on boost reference, when kicking the boost, then it's actuating. This is working all the time and it's controlled by the fuel pump controller and it's variable. So what's happening, when it's pushing, fuel, this pump, when it's activating this, this is not running at all. And this running, the duty of this pump is running more high because there is a leak from back here. Don't ask me why they choose this. I'm just trying now to solve one issue for a friend. That's it. And why I did this, this test? Because I don't know if it's better, let us say, instead of using an aftermarket pump to use one good controller for a brushless pump, and try to put two buckets inside. You get my point? To be able to suck both pumps from the bottom to have his own basket without a filter, to use one filter external and two fuel lines. That means instead of using this kind of lid, the plastic one, you are making one aluminium with a little bit more thickness. You are making also this. This will gonna be we're gonna replace the stock one all right they're gonna be on the same degrees threaded here and then spot welded don't go away fine one's this one the other one's that one all right and then uh, what was my thought like i said without the filter inside just only the pump one pump from one side oh, that, that's a new pump actually why well, i didn't get them well, I didn't get a new pump and I checked the old pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This pump it does have even 5,000 kilometers. Yeah, I test the other one with 100,000 kilometers. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> so, uh, but what's my point? Imagine, let us say, if there is enough space inside of the fuel tank, you have the fuel level sensor here, all right? And when you have this lid, Obviously, you have to choose which one you're going to secure if you have two buckets inside. Either you're going to secure where I have it, I have it here. Yeah. Either you're going to secure, let us say, this one, or you're going to secure this one. The thing is, because th this fork, the distance here, it doesn't be, it's, it's not able to make it down here. But when you have it blank like that, you can put one here, one here, there, all right? make the holes instead of being far away like that instead of being far away you're gonna make it more close you're gonna be fine and then you're gonna make another one fork from far away to lock it to don't spin to don't turn inside the fuel level sensor like i said to my friend 
if it if it's bothering let us say here if it's near to the tunnel because it's passing here the drive shaft you can place it let us say here and you can slightly bend it to touch down the floor definitely we can find some solution for that the thing is how much space i have inside it might end up to be one bucket like this i have also this option to be one like this one like that or to be both of them like no like this you cannot because you're not going to be able to put the um, fuel level sensor yay yeah the thing is that i'm busy and i'm not giving so much uh, priority to this fuel system because the car is still running now with a different fuel setup fuel system setup yeah we're gonna see how we're gonna end up we're gonna throw inside two amg pumps <laughs> We can see about that. And the springs, by the way, the original one has a single spring. The original fork has, has only one spring to push down to keep down the basket. All right. In this case, if it's if you run two baskets, you need two springs to keep them down on the bottom of the tank. All right. Let's make some calculations to see how, what was the test because this is why I started the video, right? Yeah. The controller not need anymore. Yep. All right. Stock pump. Aftermarket pump. Fine. I said that. 500 ml of fuel. It's giving to me 370 grams on the specific scale what I show you at the beginning of the video. All right. All right. This giving to us one liter equal with 740 grams correct correct then the stock pump it was at 2.36 kilograms at 30 seconds all right this giving to us 6.6.38 liters oh come on 6.38 liters per minute or 382.8 liters per hour this is with my measurement here with these pipes what i use all right don't get it for granted this is one test the test what i'm doing all the time actually and this is for me for me and for my friend so <clears throat> we have the stock pump 382.8 liters per hour 100,000 kilometers stock pump on a not original fuel pump controller I have to actuate somewhere uh, somehow right and that's what I did the aftermarket pump the aftermarket pump we have 2.72 2.72 uh, kilograms all right equals with 3.67 liters fine correct me if I'm wrong is giving to us 7.34 liters per minute yes and this is 440 liters per hour okay so after market pump new less than 5000 kilometers all right 440 liters per hour stock pump 382.8 liters per hour 100,000 kilometers eh? don't forget that not original controller it, it it's important what I'm saying if I run the same test with a new pump and with the original controller from the car with the battery charger as it was here this will gonna be higher this number this will gonna reach almost on this number it's not gonna be 440 it's gonna be 420 definitely so what's my point I connect the fittings the same diameter fitting you know, in both of them, same cage in both of them, same battery, same battery charger. To me, why you see difference? You can see difference, let us say, if you have a pump that's 100,000 kilometers old and you dump this inside, that's nice and fresh, a new pump. The specific one is not right because it does have a check valve. And the irony, it's even written here, no check valve. No check valve. And these guys, they put a non-check valve, a pump like this inside. Don't ask me why. If you have a healthy pump it's gonna perform similar to this one this it's with brushes this is a brushless this is a full adjustable variable pump this one you're gonna warm up more the fuel 
this it won't gonna uh, warm up more the fuel. This is more loud. This is more quiet. For me, yeah, it, pff, you see where I'm going, right? You see that I'm more to the stock pump because I have seen how they're performing the brushless pumps. Now, final results: 440 liters per hour. Aftermarket, 382.8, the stock one. What I'm gonna use? I might run again the test with this pump and to use the fuel pump controller from the car because I want to see the difference. This will not gonna change. This will not gonna change anything because it's a positive negative. From the other hand, the stock pump, uh, there are more different things. They are much different, the stock pump, because, like I said, fuel pump controller and 100,000 km pump. I believe that it will be much more near to the 440 liters per hour here. That's what I have to say. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. The, the lid here is going to end up to have two outlets, two fittings. One is going to be for the stock fuel line that goes front, and another one is going to be for an aftermarket fuel line to go front. Each pump is going to have its own line. The one line is going to be connected as it's being connected from the factory, and the other line is going to be to the low pressure fuel rail. So, yeah, I, I almost give you all of my idea what I have to do, what I have to, uh, what I'm planning to do. Yay. That's all, folks. Have a nice weekend. Take it as a New Year's uh, gift. <laughs> if you find something helpful. If you don't understand what I'm saying, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> you just waste your time. Thank you.